Hey everyone, I'm Scott Stokely, and this is my summary of the 2023 Disc Golf Pro Tour Elite Series event, the PCS Open in Vestnes, Norway. We are here at the Fjords of Norway. Uh, they call them fjords here, but I'm American, so I call it Fjords, just like it's spelled. So anyways, we're at the Fjords of Norway, and it's super windy. I can't record out there, but I, I do have to walk out real quickly. Probably not gonna talk, but I gotta show you this. This is what we've been looking at, basically. Except we were over the water the whole time. I actually had to pull over to the side of the road to record this, but check this out. This is just like where we are. Super windy. Anyway, let me get back into the car house. That's actually what they call it when the, when the Swedes were trying to talk to us in English, which is so sweet whenever people in other countries talk to you in English, uh, their second language, uh, to be hospitable. But they, we had uh, multiple people... Uh, call it our car house which is which, just adorable anyway okay so summary of the event from inside my warm windless car house wow this is um this is one of the most special events i've ever been to uh this this is exactly where i wanted to be this weekend this is an experience like no other uh flawless event this, the, the course, well, first off, the, the course is themed, like it's a Viking-themed course. There's actually even a Viking run around. Uh, they got a hole called the Gates of Valhalla, which you've probably seen videos of. Uh, they have, there's a hole with with a, a Viking ship that crashed, like, on one of the holes. There's, like, dead animal <laughs> skulls hanging on the walls to, like, warn, like, ward off evil spirits or keep keep uh, uh other viking tribes from invading i don't know like but it's everything about it is just it's really cool but what matters is that all of this centers around a flawless disc golf course when you watch it on coverage it's not going to do it justice i mean when you watch this course you're gonna say i could tear this course up like i don't why uh, see why everybody's having such a hard time it's like you have no idea how hard this course really is. I mean, first off, like if you if you land in the circle, it doesn't mean you're in bounds. You know, there's OB so close to so many targets, which is to me that's great because you can't just like throw up to a basket from a tee pad or your approach shot. You actually have to land like on a certain side of the basket because there's OB in, in the circle on the other side. But you got the fairways just lined with with out of bounds i mean if you throw a bad shot you're out of bounds on the par fours if you want to get any distance off the tee pad you're risking out of bounds but if you don't push the distance off the tee pad you don't got a guaranteed par because you're pitching short on your second shot then you have to throw an approach shot without a bounds in the circle it's so much harder like it's a course you're going to get birdies on but aside from the round paul had you might have noticed if you followed coverage everybody's getting bogeys and double bogeys and worse because it's way harder than it seems uh but super fun um there was a hole if you followed me you've seen that i got a quadruple bogey on my fifth hole of the tournament and uh i actually did uh i have a discord server scottstokely.net forward slash discord you can go to scottstokely.net and scroll down to see the discord icon next to the social media icons uh, the, the, uh, uh, but if you're old like me and you don't know the difference between MySpace and Facebook, <laughs> then, um, go to scottstokely.net forward slash discord. But if you haven't used discord, I promise you it's, it's way easy to use, but th there's a chat there that kind of like Reddit, except that, uh, we have a policy because it's, it's my discord that there's no controversial or political topics. Um, by the way, this is not me taking sides on anything. This is like, I'm going back to old school. You might not know this, but back when we were younger, like you never even asked somebody who they voted for. You could be, you could live next door to someone for 40 years and not know what political party they were part of, because that was irrelevant. Your politics were your own damn business. And so you, you kept them to yourself and then you just enjoyed 
each other's neighbors. That's what this page is. It's old, it's old school. It's positive. It's uplifting. It's fun. And you want to talk about the hard topics, go over, do that. I encourage you on Reddit. Uh, on our page, we're talking disc golf and cool life stuff. So go to, yeah, so go check it out. Oh, reason I brought that up is I do a whole by whole breakdown of on my Discord server, a general disc golf chat, and then into the strategy section where I break down what happened on that quadruple bogey, why it was or wasn't the correct strategy, what I did the following rounds, and how I got over it. Um, that's probably a big part of it because I went on to shoot a 10-30 round. I had a great round. Well, how did I have a great round after a quad bogey? Well, go to Discord. I'll explain exactly how I did it. Um, so... I finished top 20 at, a, at an elite series event. And it's so funny because I always talk about these realistic, uh, you know, achievements because I'm 53 years old and saying, oh, I'm really proud of this showing or, you know, these accomplishments that aren't winning. And, and uh, now I had a top 20 finish and it's the opposite. I am disappointed. I'll be honest. This was the, 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 the one of the tournaments I, I thought I could win. I mean, I'm always trying to win, uh, but I've been shooting on the disc, on the European, uh, sorry, the the Euro Tour so far. I'm shooting 1030 golf. Like I'm a 10, like basically I'm a 1030 golfer right now, and 1030 golfers win Pro Tour events sometimes. I'm playing good enough to win one of these events, especially if it suits my game and. Psh, this course suited my game. A lot of very precise sidearms and a lot of opportunities to play smart. And even though I played really good, I shot 1026 rated for the tournament, which is solid top 20 finish. I'm certainly, I am proud of it. But this is one of the ones I could have won. Like I really had a chance to come over here with, when all the Americans come over here and, uh, you know, uh, yeah. I feel like I let this one get away. I really, truly do. Uh, if I could do it over, I think I'm I'm in contention. I, I truly feel that way. But anyways, that's golf. Uh, I played solid. Proud of it. And next weekend is the European Open where I'm going to get to play disc golf in front of 6,000 screaming fans. All of them there to see me. I mean, according to the narrative that I tell myself. <laughs> <laughs> but it's going to be exciting. I'm I'm loving every second of it. Uh, if you want to follow our non-disc golf stuff, as we we got like a 20-hour drive, no, 30-hour drive in front of us to, to Finland, all the non-disc golf stuff is at Scott Stokely Adventures Facebook page. But uh, yeah, the big thing I would say, go to go to my Discord server and, and join in and participate. It's, it, there's really cool disc golf stuff happening there. ScottStokely.net forward slash Discord. And if you're old like me, I promise you, it's not going to take you hours to figure this thing out. You you dive in, you play around for a few minutes, you'll get the hang of it, and uh, go check out my strategy of uh, my of my quadruple bogey. <laughs> See y'all.